New York City, Department of Sanitation. Fleet Improvement, R&D Network. These trucks collect about 26,000 tons of garbage a day and, as necessary, sweep, salt, or plow 6,000 miles of city streets. But in 1978, the Bureau of Motor Equipment, responsible for all these machines, was floundering. Nearly one of every six trucks on the streets broke down during daily runs. As much as half of the entire work fleet was out of service on any given day. With a crisis in service developing, the Bureau's management announced a three-part challenge to its 1,200 employees and suppliers. One, equipment design must be improved for more reliable operation. Two, more effective procedures in preventive maintenance must be instituted. Three, repairs must be completed more quickly and efficiently. Worksite committees were established to devise new ideas for better maintenance and repair. Suppliers were urged to redesign equipment for more reliable performance. Employees were relieved of paperwork and red tape so they could spend more time on maintenance and repair. The results have been astounding. Downtime on garbage trucks dropped from 46% to 16%. For street sweepers, from 51% to 21%. The number of engines needing rebuilding declined from 230 in 1982 to 73 in 1991. In fact, the Bureau now has time to do repair and maintenance work on contract for other city agencies. And private suppliers now enlist the help of Bureau mechanics in developing better products. At the Bureau of Motor Equipment in New York City, it is no longer business as usual.